Hello class, this is section 5.1 and we are going to discuss the principle of superposition for matrix equations. So this is a typical matrix equation and first a bit of terminology. This ft term here, if it is equal to 0 then we have a homogeneous equation. This is very similar to what we dealt with in chapter 3. And for this principle of superposition, we're just going to assume that the equation is homogeneous. So assume that x1, x2, xn are all solutions to the matrix equation we then have that y equals c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus cn xn is also a solution very similar to what we've dealt with in the past the matrix form of the equation actually makes it easy to prove this. So we can check it, verify it pretty easily. If we look at d, dt, yt, this is going to be equal to c1 derivative of x1 because of how um, vectors distribute. But we know that each of the x1, x2 to uh, xn satisfy this equation, the one on top. So you can just replace everything with uh, ptxts. And we can just collect terms again. But this term is just going to be equal to p t y n y t, which is exactly the equation that we wanted. Right. So, if we have solutions x one, x two, x three, any combination of those solutions will also be a solution if the equation is homogeneous. This doesn't work at all if f t is something that's non-zero. Right. 